to my name. Get off, get off your railroad bomb as you slung the boss car. My name is George Hyder. And I took the train from Greenville to Echo Valley, the last trip it made. I can't remember all the words. <laughs> but that's some of it. Jimmy Rogers stuff. They like to hear the whistle blow, you know, when you're going down the track. And they'll hear that racket out there, them wheels making a racket, and they think they're going to heaven, you know, with that train. All up through, well, through here and all the way up to Marietta, there were people standing on the side of the trailer track watching as it went by, you know, and blowing, wanting to blow the horn and all that stuff, you know. So it, it was an excitement for everybody. This is a real good one we used to do. I wandered again to my home in the mountain. There's a trussle up there at Billy Ledford's farm, Beachwood. It's about 35 foot high, built on telephone poles and about 80 foot long. And we took timbers that I sawed, three by tens, three by twelves, 20 foot long, and put X braces on it all the way under that thing and bolted them to them poachers so it wouldn't do that, you know. And then we eased across it. But that trunk, tr that engine weighs a lot of, a lot of tons, about 96,000 pounds. So it's heavy. So we got up there before we get to Beachwood Farm, going down in there, fixing to cross the river. And I was a little bit worried too, you know, like this, studying about that trussle falling in the river, because I know that thing was heavy. So we got down about, a, I guess, a hundred yards from the trussle, and everybody's talking and talking. About 15 of them up in the cab with me, you know. And uh, I said, boys, I said, you know, be quiet for a few minutes. We're gonna cross this trussle down here and I'm afraid it might fall in the river. Cause it braced up, but it could give away. You could hear the pin hit the floor and that engine running. <laughs> it was <laughs> something. Yeah, both Baker said, be quiet. But when we got to the end of the trussle there and I it was just creeping, you could, crawl and keep up with it, I just ease it along. And you could hear it crunching like that as we eased across. On out towards the middle, it got a little louder, you know. But I just kept easing on. I said, maybe we'll make it. When we got to the other side, it was like taking a 500 pound weight off my head. But we went on up through Marietta and we got up there about the tire shop and there's a pretty good climb on around to Hart Cut Road and down that hill. And Oregon Law said, I'm gonna blow the whistle. So he let your friend got it and laid down on that whistle blowing the whistle. I said, you need to save a little bit of steam. We won't get over that hill up there. We'll have to wait a while. <laughs> so he quit blowing the whistle. Hey, we got over that hill. He wanted to blow it then, going on down the track. 